Greetings everybody. So today I want to talk about the Amazon Echo Flex. Now Amazon is adding a new attachment along with the light and the motion sensor that they already have on the market. Oh, and stay tuned because after I talk about the new attachment for the Echo Flex, I'm going to point out the design flaw that I see with these modules. So let's talk about that new attachment right after this. Okay, so if you own an Echo Flex or if you don't, there's some accessories that you can add to it. The first two that was on the market is the motion sensor. So you could get the motion sensor, for example, attach it to the Echo Flex, and then you can trigger a routine, for instance, turn on the light or do something else. And the other attachment that's available is a night light, which has a sensor built in to detect when it's dark and just turn on the light at night. So you don't have it running all day. Now this new attachment, which is going to be available for the Echo Flex is called Smart Clock. Now, if you don't have an Echo Flex, the way you attach these modules is using the USB port that's built into the Echo Flex. Once you connect those modules to the Echo Flex, then they automatically get recognized by the device. So you don't have to do any setup. So some of the features that I noticed that Amazon is listing about this new Smart Clock attachment is the fact that it has automatic brightness. So it will adjust itself based on the light condition in the room. You can adjust the clock from being 12 hour to 24 hours by using the third reality skill. Of course, there's no battery needed because once you plug it into the USB port on the Echo Flex, that's where it's going to get its power source from. So that's basically what the Echo Flex smart clock is. It's just something that you can attach to your Echo Flex so you can see the time and set timers. Now here's my problem with the Echo Flex. Even though you can attach the different modules to it, you can only attach one at a time. So you have to really pick and choose what you want to use your Echo Flex for because unless you plan on swapping out these modules just to get whatever you want to get out of it, whether it's the light or the motion or even the time and whatever modules they decide to come up with in the future. Now with these attachments being USB connected, I kind of figured they should have made it where you can daisy chain them together. Just like how I have in this example. Now this is my mock-up of how you can attach the time and the motion together or you can attach the time and the night light all in one. This could have been possible if Amazon had made them to where the module have a USB port on them too so you can attach one and then attach the other one underneath. It. But unfortunately that's not how they decided to design it in the first place. So you can only do one at a time and you just have to pick or choose or you can get them all and just keep on swapping out. But it would have been a cool design if they had it where you could daisy chain them together. And that would have worked on some modules. Some of them you can't do it because the light is at the bottom. So therefore that will always be one that's at the bottom. So that's just my two cents and I think that's how they should have designed it. But that's not the way so you just have to deal with it just the way it is. Maybe when they come out with the Flex 2 they will make it to where you can daisy chain them together just like what I'm talking about. Until then. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.